digitize and monetize with iEnt Live, the only platform that provides complete digital support for entertainers, promoters, businesses, and entrepreneurs. Leverage our one-stop digital ecosystem that will allow you to promote your music, sell albums, and host paid events, host webinars and sell courses, promote your concerts, sell tickets, and live stream events, and market your business or project to generate new customer leads, traffic, and more. This is all supported by our homegrown AI-driven digital marketing infrastructure that has successfully served hundreds of clients around the world. To learn more, send us a message or call 765-4641. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Bloodline Podcast. This is the final episode for season three, and I'm so honored to have as my guest this evening one of the country's most prolific, prominent, popular panis, <laughs> <laughs> Dane Goldson of Massey Trader Horses. Hey, Dane. Welcome again. Well, with that statement coming from you, I feel in real good. <laughs> you, you don't make joke with, with, with culture and the whole. Right. You know, so coming from you, I've taken that boy with, with full hearts and love. I, I think you are one of the most loved panels <laughs> in the land. Maybe in the world for whole, you know. I mean, as much woman reaction to you in a crowd. <laughs> What is Parama Festival, where it is? Uh, and then women is just go crazy when you play. Yeah, yeah, it's a pleasure. Um, you know, when you, <laughs> when you have the passion and um, I think when you're, you're born for what you do, mm. you know, um, it, it, it become natural because it's natural. I, I people person, you know, women, <laughs> you know, brothers, yeah. uh, my buddies, yeah, children. Right. Yeah. But just the other day, um, <clears throat> I was doing something. Well, actually, I was at the Savannah, um, here, home in Trinidad. Um, we had the launch a carnival. Mm. And some youths, you know, ran up to me and, and they know me by name too. Uh, you know? But then they, they, they kind of catch me off guard because they called me, um, uh, Uncle Lynn. Um, oh, sure. Mr. Goldstein. <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> hey, you know, that, so, that, you know, it's nice. nice. I know it's, it's that really is nice. always nice. Um, so tell me something. We emerging from COVID-19. The last figures for last week was uh, what? Um, six deaths, uh, which is, wow. is a big come down yeah, from what we had before. Had before yeah. We only have about 22 people in the hospital now. You know? Like too much still. Yeah, it's still too much. More than one is still too much. Yeah, exactly. You know? Um, but what, what COVID-19, what can the effect it have, has had on mass situators coming out of it? Well, um, like every, like everybody else, every other organization, culturally or otherwise, mm. we suffer. Mm. All right? We seriously suffer because um, our thing is, as we know, is entertainment. Mm -hmm. And not only that, now we more into the, the business side mm -hmm. of, of, of Massey Trinidad All Stars mm -hmm. or All Stars, mm -hmm. right? Let's say All Stars mm -hmm. because Massey is the sponsor mm -hmm. and Massey into business. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Trinidad All Stars, you know, now we have like a, a mini mall, all mm -hmm. right? We have the car park that we, that we run. We have a, a bar area. And then the most important thing, the entertainment. Mm -hmm. And none of those things, right, could have happened During, because mm -hmm. of COVID. So mm -hmm. obvious, we felt it and we felt it a lot. Very you know, and the other part of the thing too, you know, we didn't want to get into the politics, but the, the politics is, 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 um, is around us. Look here, mm -hmm. himself, you try to break it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think, um, you know, in terms of, getting that assistance mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. when it comes to not just Trinidad All Stars, but Pan and the whole year, uh, you really didn't, you didn't get that kind of assistance wow. that you need. Well, you know? well, I hope it's forthcoming, especially yeah. for kind of welcoming. Um, you talk about each young people run up to Uncle Dave, <laughs> right? <laughs> what do you see as your rule? Well, I see that's not a great thing in a, in a bed there. <laughs> I didn't know you know greeting. I just experienced. Right. Your rule is now a veteran. A veteran in all stars 
a veteran is still one wool. Well, um, your wool. Well, I, I, I think it's to, um, to help the youth, especially, see that this particular instrument that we play can take you places. It can help help you to, to develop as a as a as a model citizen. So I, I will always try to to do that. You know. Um, and we say model citizen, and you, you don't have to be, as we say, quote unquote, a star, you know, that you, 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 you could come into to, to the Panyard, or any Panyard, not just Trinidad, all stars mm -hmm. are generalizing this. Mm -hmm. And this is what I personally will like, that you should be happy to come to Panyard to develop not just the skill of playing Pan, mm -hmm. but to be a model citizen and for people to be respected. And mm -hmm. I will always like, like to be that person to, to endorse mm -hmm. or that person that you can see, um, um, more or less making that, that transition in mm -hmm. terms of mm -hmm. being from a child mm -hmm. to, you know, a youth and, and, and then into a developing yeah. into a better, a person that someone could, could gravitate to. Mm -hmm. So I will always try my best to do that, to represent too, you know, and represent Trinidad and Tobago the best I could right. do, you know. Well, I see you doing it at home as well, <laughs> because your two sons, De Nielsen yeah, and Daniel, and Daniel, yeah. the two budding panels as well, yeah. to accomplish panels. Yeah, yeah, and um, well, <clears throat> and uh, I'm, I'm glad you said that, you know, um, and I, when I'm when I'm on. Here, especially um, talking publicly, yes, I have the Nielsen and Daniel, and I also have two other boys who live in Canada who are big boys. They're yeah. big men. Yeah, yeah. Devon and Dwayne. And believe it or not, they're in the arts. Because they left here very young, they love, love the pan, but they, they also dance. They do r and oh. dancing, that, you know, mm. and they teach. So it, it stayed in, 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 the, uh, yeah, in the, the genes, you know, yeah. and my, my, my bigger boy of the two here, the, the Nielsen, fortunately for him, he tours with 18. He's actually 18's percussionist. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He tours there. He actually, mm. he leaving, he leaving for, for New York uh, next week, Tuesday, just after, well, Trinidad All Stars Very, concert, mm. you know. And um, so they, they, they're doing this stuff. Daniel, Daniel, by, I was away for a little while. And Daniel was doing some of my gigs, which is the smallest one. Right. <laughs> so, right. so, yeah, really it's, it's just to make sure that it, the, um, the fruit don't fall far from far, the tree. And we continue the, the right. legacy. You ever try your hand at arranging? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Sun Valley arranger. I did stuff um, with All Stars. Um, coming from Trinidad All Stars. I'm telling you, you come out technical, full accomplished mm -hmm. when it comes to the musical side, when it comes to the discipline side, when it comes to the performance side. Because I came from the old school. I played in all, in all stars 40 odd years now, only 42 years. And, um, with your uncle Je Jerry Jemmert and, you know, mm -hmm. um, Neville Jews and mm -hmm. teaching you certain things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know. You're so, up I, um, it have more than one reason why now, um, I'm not technically doing a little more of that. I, I choose to, to kind of stay out of the, the, the panorama for, for this particular, um, season. Well, with your schedule, how much more you going to do? It's, no, well, I mean, as a musician, you had to make time, right? But <laughs> it's, it's, it becomes a little, yes, at times, a, a little difficult. Um, thank God, you know, as we, we still kind of a little bit still on the, on the COVID side. Um, thank God out of the, the real pandemic. Because COVID this year, apparently to stay for a while. Oh, I've seen so. Yeah, yeah, you know. So we still have to be careful. But fortunately, we got stuff that we, we could do. You know, thank, thank God for, for people who, who really and truly wants to see you. Mm. And, you know, as, as, as it opened, you know, you start getting some of the corporate gigs. You start doing shows. Yeah. I did a couple of shows in New York. Right. Um, did a, did, did a couple of stuff. Um, even right here, you know. Mm. So I, 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 I just say any time, but we had to make time because you had to make time for your people. You talk about discipline. Um, it always intrigued me. Panorama, playing a panorama tune. Mm. Well, it used to be 10 minutes, now it's 8 minutes. And playing a classical tune, right? I think it's two different mindsets that are going to deal with it. 
Yeah. What kind of challenges as a panelist you had to deal with doing those two different types of music? Well, um, the, the, the discipline really is supposed to be the same because you have to apply that same um, efforts and, and, and you have to ap apply what, what is needed. And what is needed is, is time, all right, and, and making sure that your team, team person, because some people will learn faster than some, all right? Or you as a, as a if you want to call as an ace player, it's not about just you as the ace player. You have to make sure that people have, have, the, have the music according to what they do. Now, Panorama it's, it's, a, it's yes is a little different in terms of that is that is straight ahead near one one tempo you know um in the, in yes in panorama now we divert i mean we used to do it before we you technically get maybe say two or three different kind of uh, uh, genres mm -hmm. in in, in really? a way in this in this in the song <laughs> right we, mm -hmm. in terms of what i'm saying is you may bring a, 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 a classic uh not even a classic a classical phrase but they're doing it in calypso mm, you know mm. it might be a classical idiom mm. or you may bring in a latin rhythm you know you know what i mean and into the calypso right so that's why i say in one music but in that classical piece most most of the times one straight straight up um tempo that you, you you play and that genre which is a total classical so the discipline to stay there, to stay and learn a piece where sometimes, as by classical pieces, is all 12, sometimes 15 damn minutes, and you play yeah. that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's so interesting that mm. sometimes it blow over because, for instance, you, you, you may have, um, you may have like, um, pieces where it have different moods the, sa the same way, you know, because there's story, like, for instance. You know, we, we do, we do some pieces in, in, the, in the past, um, a, a piece called, um, finale in F minor. <laughs> and the speed that they had to play to, you know, yeah. it, it's out of this, out of this world, you know, and Uncle Jem was a tickler for that. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think too, when you, when you, when you really and truly get into playing the classical pieces, it's me, it makes you a better player. So you, if you want to be a better player, you know, and you want to be disciplined. Try the classics. Yes, that is, is very nice uh, to attempt playing, playing classical well, music. Through the years, right? Or such as playing some of the most um, dynamic panorama selection, <laughs> right? What is your favorite panorama selection by all sirs? Unknown band. Unknown band, definitely. Yeah, unknown band. All right. And as you say, I know also I did a lot of tours, you did a lot of tours. Um, your favorite foreign audience that you have played to? Um, it is a little bit too much to mention. <laughs> out, uh, it has one that stand out? Yeah. One that just blew it, make your hair stand up in your hair. Yeah, um, I, I, to be honest, because of Trinidad, with Trinidad All Stars, I think um, performing in London is is one of one of my most memorable mm. and exciting i will tell you why too because we actually made a tour to to europe um and it really was based on classical music so that classical tour was out of this world and we had we we had um uncle jam and we we had we had um another um conductor which was which was white and he was crazy. <laughs> yeah, we do some pieces and it's, we talk about sell out. We, let's give you a little, um, why it was so memorable. We, um, stopped in the, in the coach, right? In the bus and it was raining. It was a lunchtime performance, right? Um, you know, they just have like, it have, um, B squared and it have stuff in the square mm. at lunchtime. Mm. And we said, well, all right, we get easy there. And it was, it was chilly. It was kind of cool. And so, like, give or take, we reached there, like, about 11.30. Things supposed to start 12 o'clock. And by quarter to, quarter to 12, the rain just stopped. And you, the place just get dark and not to the clouds with people. 
whole place. Are you talking about hundreds with umbrellas, raincoat to hear the band? <laughs> and um, well, obvious we had we had roadies and people. And in more in, in minutes, give or take, I telling you by by say at least five past ten past twelve, everything set up. They blow off this, the, 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 the bandstand, right? Middle of the square. And thousands, I tell you about people, he said, oh, where did all these people came from? You know, I just showed. So, and they came to hear the band perform. Mm -hmm. And our main focus that day was, was, um, was, was classical. Right. And our, our di director, um, the bike conductor, Mr. Paul Hill, he was in his glee. Because he technically in his home, domain, yeah, in home, yeah, and yeah. having us and, and conducting a steel band, oh, Jesus, yeah, what people? So I, that, that, those are things I that, really, yeah. I really wish more Trinidadians would understand and learn to appreciate what the we have. power of pan hmm. and what we have. It's our own. That's yeah. ours. We made that. We invented yeah. that. Exactly. And learn to appreciate it for what it is. But but um. You know, I, this might be for a different discussion, but well, well, quickly, I, I, I just saying, even the pan men have to respect it and they have to respect themselves. They have to understand their words, and I think I don't think they don't, they, I don't we, think they, they do. don't have it. They I don't, don't think no. Not they, do, they no. do not understand their words, and what happens is they take, if you want to call anything, the, the full mediocrity, the. You know, well, all right, I will take a little thing. This is not a little thing. Yeah. You can't go on. So, well, yeah, I will take a little. No, and you take small all the time. Because the kind of work the panels on them put in, we do not get paid for it. And, we, and it's because of you not respecting yourself. And people not respecting you because they don't respect yourself and they could see it. So that way, it had to come from the player first. I, I know about that. As a panelist myself, I played for years, you know, playing pan. And, um, you do it for love. It was, yeah, you can't it, do it for love anymore. It was about love and it, it um, can't. Yeah. It, can't, it can't work. Mm. It can't, it can't. You see, because the, the, the passion, the passion is there and the love and everything. But because of the time, mm. times, times has changed, right? The, the youngest, are they saying, young, youngest youth, say, give or take, an 18, a 19 year old, right? Now have a vehicle. Parents or whoever buy it, right? All right, you reach 20, you have a vehicle, you have a cell phone. We didn't have cell phones long time, you had to pay for it. Yeah, so true. if you're not getting something for getting there, for being part, mm. because all the rest of, of art forms individually, men get paid, except Kaiso. Because <laughs> Kaiso and is themselves, I mean, uh, sorry, the same, the same, 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 yeah. same catch of fish. Yes, and that, that is bad. So yeah. we have to respect ourselves first. Mm. You understand? And I say in me, because I'm part yeah. of mm. one parcel. Yeah. But mm. I will get the respect because I show the I show the, the, the kind of respect I have for that instrument. Yeah. I took it up mm. as, as my job. This is my job. This is what I do. Is I, I, I live by this. Yeah. So I understand it. Now himself you don't. You don't really you're not living by it. Mm. Right? But the time that you spend. I know about the time. Yeah. You, you know, you understand. I know about the time. Day, yeah. You know, and, and we have to be special. Welcome to the Panama. We kind of always go in home in the morning. Yeah. People yeah. Realize you, you can't you, say a little bit doing it. You don't leave the Panama before midnight. Exactly. No and night. Not only that, too. The reason, too, people have have vehicles is safety. You see the, the vehicle and running on, on, on water alone. I think time ch times change as Water well. Water expensive. Eh? Yeah, times change as well. Eh? Because yeah, you have to get paid. Long time you can leave the panel after midnight and it's still reach home, kind of safe if you're going far. But no. <laughs> but one of the main things too, what players have to do, as much as there's something that you have to get paid for it, but you have to um, educate yourself on what is the best way to, 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 to get the finance. And when you get the finance, what you're doing with it. Because you have to manage it. Yeah. You're not saying that here. I, I'm not just sitting here to see, well, you had to get, just get money. You know what I mean? Because I's not the whole idea. Use the money wisely. Use it wisely, but you had to, you had to have the, the mental yeah. capacity. You know, because use the word education. You know, and some people might say, well, yeah, I'd be educated. 
and if you feel you have to be a doctor a lawyer yeah. mm. it, it's, it's not about it's about the educating yourself and your craft mm. understanding the worth of your craft you know what i mean and the only way for you to understand yeah you have to learn certain things and and what you're learning you have to understand it you know what i mean mm -hmm. and, and I, I think people respect respect you even more mm -hmm. okay uh today's podcast is sponsored by caribbean spring water natural alkaline spring water from the northern range um so we move on to matters at hand <laughs> right classical jewels 13 13 where's your involvement here besides penny pan well what? um i'm on the committee i'm i'm actually actually the community relations officer at Trinidad mm. all stars all right and my, my my involvement is is i wouldn't say simply but is really just to try to assist the committee to make this happen because it's a very expensive um task it's a tedious task the band been feverishly since the opening of the if you want to call mm. the country after the pandemic post -COVID, mm. yeah post-covid yeah we um been rehearsing um for this and also doing other little gigs the band was in tobago um in the earlier time too we, we did other things we went to tobago more than once to do different events and doing other events so um it's hard it's very hard but um i'm just saying in terms of i personally because of, of, of my little time i haven't totally been around but i'm here as i just call sometimes the peter say um, the face of all right to make sure that promoting it right um and getting the word out there all right i, I think that is part of my my portfolio if you want to call call it that um like for instance i mean i will perform in in, in it but I'll, I'll perform as a solo act all right with the band of, of of course all right but actually playing playing pieces in the band no because of time you know um but uh, again it's just to make sure that the word is out there all right every night well right now we in, we in queen so we in, we in napa sorry all right um and we we we, we there until well, until I was, same I, Monday. I, I was at the last edition of classical jewels and i remember quite well as a matter of fact one of my favorite spots in the whole program you playing this old time see pan ten a pan yeah I can't, I can't really meet you there, Pedro. It was um, actually a, it was a own piece by by one of the members. Um, um, oh gosh, I think it is a piece by Jason Lewis. I can't mm -hmm. remember the, the name of the piece yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, oh, that old time part. Yeah, that bring back memories. Yeah. You know what I mean, before Juvena my time. That's the name of the, that was Juvena the name. band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Juvena band. Next so Jason Lewis. Classical drills, the movie. Oh god. Tell me about it. Um, okay. The public ha have an idea about classical Jews over the years. Yes. But this particular one is about movies. Yes, it's all movie themes. Right, so tell yeah. me about it. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's actually all, all movie themes and recognized themes. Um, you know, we, we, we'll have like the Star Wars and, you know, we even have a, a horror movie medley. Uh, it's out of this world because we, we also have the um <laughs> the orchestra trianda bigo philharmonic orchestra performing with us and utt choir oh, great, members great, of the utt yeah. choir performing with us also mm -hmm. so we'll hear certain things in the movie well certain things in the, the, the show right will make you feel in, you're actually in a movie you understand so the band is performing most of those themes then you know what I mean? Um, when is the show? The show is Saturday. Saturday, um, the 19th. 19th. Mm -hmm. All right. And Sunday, 20th. What time? At Napa. And Napa. Yeah. What time? Um, eight, what? eight on Saturday. And six. It's actually six on, on Sunday. On Sunday. Like a matinee, matinee show. And tickets and stuff like that. Where, 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 well, where the public are getting tickets? tickets online. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You can also... Um, at any Massey stores, only chosen mm. Massey stores, mm -hmm. you can get tickets at Trinidad Old Stars Pan Theatre. Mm -hmm. On Duke Street. Also, yes. Mm -hmm. Duke, and, Duke and George Street. Mm -hmm. All right. 
by Neville Jules Junction mm, mm. <laughs> and also at the box office mm. on the day which is Napa. Mm. All right. Okay. And the tickets, the tickets is only three fifty. No, the first classical Jews was nineteen seventy four. Seventy four. We're in twenty twenty two. Tell me a little about the growth. You you wasn't there for the seventy four one? No. I was I was there in from the eighties go up. Tell me about the growth yeah. the growth well, and the popularity. How, how that thing developed? Well, um Jerry Jemont. Jerry Jemont came into the band in nineteen sixty eight. And Jerry, Mr. Well, Uncle Jem, as we call, mm. called him, you know, God bless his soul. Um, and we had to thank his family for sharing him with us. All right. And he came out of that classical realm as part of the, the police, police mm. man. Mm. And coming into Trinidad World Stars as the musical director, um, he always had that, that knack for putting that kind of music together on the steel pan. Now, Neville Jules, as you will know, we more than me, um, <laughs> he was, he had that, also that knack for classical music, but in calypso form, all right? And um, Uncle Jem always said the difficulty of playing the classical music helps us go into our season, which is the, the panorama and then doing stuff on the state side and all that, you know? So Uncle Jem was more, more or less responsible for us being more noted as a classical, classical playing mm. band, right? Mm. Now, what we start doing in the 80s, I think that's, yeah, late 70s into the 80s, it start doing it biannually because we had music festival mm -hmm. all right and we had music festival in 80 all right and then we had music festival one in 82 mm -hmm. somewhere there right mm -hmm. yeah 81 yeah 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 yeah. right so what we start doing is having the classical jewels by biannually so we will do a festival one year and then do then jewels, do our jewels. Yeah. so what we we'll, we'll also do is is um in terms of the songs that we do for classical, we'll always do a big, we'll say like do two big pieces that we know we will go in the festival. The festival mm -hmm. So, you know, so we'll have it. And You're then we'll call up with it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, but Uncle Jem was, was one of the persons who really and truly responsible for making sure that Trinidad All Stars keep that flavor and that, that taste of, of classical music playing because as we were saying earlier hearing classical music on pan brings out the real flavor of the steel the steel mm -hmm. drums mm -hmm. you know and that, and that, that is that is what Trinidad was has is about mm -hmm. you know classical classical Jews and we said we said do it at Queen's Hall all right um and I actually played in from the eighties, come up, forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. himself now as a soloist, going straight up, and um, it always amazed me. I'm going to call four names. I want you to tell a bit about the four names I call: Neville Jules, Jerry Jemot, Paul Hill, Doctor Mia Romani Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Talk. All right. <laughs> well, Jerry Jemot. Yeah. And then, uh, if you want to call one of the most um, creative, creative classical arrangers it ever had, because it has certain things that Uncle Jem did um, for Trinidad All Stars and the Steel Band fraternity in terms of we teaching people certain things when it comes to dovetailing, when it comes to the way he spread the music, extremely creative. All right? Paul Hill. Paul Hill. <laughs> <laughs> He's Paul special. Hill. Yeah. Paul <laughs> Hill, I think he passed now, but Paul Hill was an exciter. Paul Hill bring, brought that difference and that different flavor 
to our classical jewels. Mm. Because having Paul Hill and Uncle Jem on a stage, you better be able to play yeah. because yeah, yeah he's he crazy. All right. So that 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 he changed the flavor. All right. He asked about Neville Jews, mm. inventor. All right. Another creative person, creative person. All right. A master leader. A master leader. In any which war, any walk of life when it comes to Trinidad All Stars, that is Trinidad All Stars. Mm. Neville mm. Jules. Mm. All right. And then he asked about Mia Gormandy. Mm. Well, if you want to call a daughter of the soil, <laughs> and a daughter of the soil at Trinidad All Stars. Yeah. All mm. right. And um Mia came from the bowels, yes, the bowels of the band. And I think we couldn't have find a better person to now lead when it comes to being a musical director. All right? And um, she's not just the musical director. She's the artistic director of Trinidad World Stars. So because we, we, we have a change when it comes to, to the way we structure our band musically and otherwise. All right? So the artistic director is not just a musical director just coming and do music, no. Because all stars is about show. I mean, that's just true. When you, when you practice hard, and Mia is a perfectionist, and all the people that are called before um, were, right, perfectionists, all right? And the three that we talked about before, they, they had passed, all right? But, but when you rehearse, your songs, you know, for people, the time to show off is when you reach the people. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. that's all it says about. Mm -hmm. It's a show. Mm -hmm. Isn't that, you know, someone use the, 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 the words loosely as showing off. Mm -hmm. But then when you will show off, how they will know you're skillful. Mm -hmm. And Mia have that. I think she has traits of every single one I talk about before. In terms of creativity, in terms of the, the, the that, that 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 whole that whole thing of of, of flamboyancy, mm. she have that. Um, you know? Let me talk about your business. <laughs> <laughs> you, besides being a panis, you have no, well. I know you've dabbling this before, but you know a promoter, a producer, promoter. I'm born to shine. <laughs> You're taking a big step, yeah. a giant step, right? Tell me what born to shine. Tell the public about born to shine. All right. Um, now, um, I'll go back just a little bit in terms of when we started. People love you. People respect you. People want to see you prosper in your art form because they support you in every which way they could. You know, big, small. So technically, you're destined to me personally to, to make sure that people see you develop and develop properly. And the stars, the, the glitters is around you, the halo mm. that you might not see. Mm -hmm. But you can realize it if you if you really concentrate on, on what's actually facing you. You know what I mean? You're drawing people to you all the time. Mm. So you're born to shine. Technically, you're born to shine. All right? And God put people in your, in your, in your path, both positive and negative at times. You have to know how to, how to different. Um, and a lot of the times, if you don't realize that, hey, this is right here in front of you. You can make it happen. You can do the same that other people are doing. You take the chance. Because I've been doing other concerts. I did stuff yeah, no at, right um, as we know, at Kaiser Blues. Yeah. Um, you know, I did always big up my boy Kali, mm. you know. And there's a place that, that, that is not totally tapping to, and I will always give that plug because he's been really, really good to me. Yeah. All right. And, uh, family. And, um, I got the opportunity to perform recently with Carol Addison in New York at the Trinidad Tobago Consulate for the consulate. 
independence and something else we had mm. um, before. And I told Carol, huh, I said, but you sound <laughs> like you know, started, you know, yeah. to sing like she, uh, she voice is so remarkable. It's, it's, it's soothing. It's sweet. It's, you know, and, and he has an honor. It really was an honor for me to get that opportunity mm. to, you know, perform with her. And I asked her straight up, but say, um, if I venture and try and bring you down to do a concert with, with me, will you do it? She said, yeah, I've been to Trinidad for a while, you know, to really perform yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And I would love to do it. So I took the opportunity because it was facing me, you know? So what day is the concert? The concert is December 1st. Thursday, mm. December 3rd, Where? 1st at Central Bank Auditorium. Um, I have <laughs> my sons. Now I have my personal band, and the name of the band is Sweetbread. <laughs> and you will hear why Sweetbread is Sweetbread. Yeah, why? Yeah, because I have one particular piece that I, um, my own composition called Sweetbread. And Sweetbread, when you check Sweetbread, Sweetbread have all the flavors of Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and if technically we have everything, we have raisins, we have flour, we have coconut, we have coconut. That is, that, is, that is Trinidad, you know, that is Trinidad, del a delicacy from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. nowhere else, yeah. Trinidad. Mm -hmm. We create that. Mm -hmm. Take it from me. Who vex loss? Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> so, and Sweet Bread is <clears throat> the name of my band. Mr. Adrian Philbert is um, one of my lead singers. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I mean, my sons, as I said, will be there. I have Xavier Strings. Mm -hmm. I have um, Tony Anthony Woodruff, as known as Tony Paul. Yeah. All right. And I have some surprises. Fantastic there. music. Yeah. I have some surprises. You notice I ain't called certain things yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because they, I ain't know they, they know they're there, but let me surprise the people. <laughs> so from classical Jews, the movie. We jump into the, Carol Addison and Carol, Dean. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Flavor. Remember, that's now we are cannibal. No, it's bacana, so we start in the whole flavor. That is well bacana. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Carol, Carol really, really, really. I was just speaking to her after yesterday uh, morning. Um, mm. And Nelly had a rehearsal today, you know. Mm. Because I'm making a joke with that. Right. And knowing that I have yeah. this to do, I say, you know what? We'll do, we'll do our rehearsals um, tomorrow. You know, but, um, we already putting in some serious work because as they say, it's a big step. Yeah, it's a big step. And there's a big step in terms of, it's a big step in terms of where mm -hmm. and the challenges yeah. to bring to do the concert. Mm -hmm. But in terms of performing wise, it's natural. But I know it's natural for you. Yeah, it's, it's natural. But it's, as it's, a production, as yeah, your production, as promoter, it's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough because um, I have a nice little team working with me. Right, um, Carla Gon Gonzalez, I've Mr. Gerard Mendez, I've um, Stacey and Patrick, I've, I've some people, yeah, you know, good people with you, yeah, you know, Adrian Phil. Because, like this there. morning on TV, I was listening to um, Terry Lyons, the, the monarch, right, Calypso monarch, the longest Calypso monarch we have had for three years, <laughs> yeah, right, and um, she doing her first show as a producer, a promoter. Mm. And just talk about the kind of hard work it is. Yeah, it, it, it's tough yeah. because they want to concentrate on the music. But, you know, everybody's coming to you. Yeah, precisely because, because you, it's your production. show. It's your show, yeah. yeah um, and, you know, I mean, I've I, I custom with it, but when, it, when it's bigger, as you say, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a little tough. But one of the things that I notice also, you know, you can't wait. And COVID did that to us as entertainers, you know. You can't wait for just people to, to give, you. to create your own stuff, you know? And, and I mean, when you're out in, in this zone or this atmosphere and, the, and, and the, as I said earlier, the people loving you and, and all that, you just had to tap into to some of them. My boy, try I wish you, I really together. sincerely and genuinely wish you every success. Yeah, I appreciate it. With this show. And I really hope it's the first of many to come because I know you're very creative <laughs> and ingenious. So I expect to see after the success of this one, I expect to see 
more shows, more productions. Yeah, definitely. But because this one coming from left field, nobody else thinking about Carl Addison. If, if they do not show, you bring Carl Addison. So maybe next one, who who you will bring? Yeah, well, Santana. Uh, you who, never know. If somebody here, yeah, you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you see, um, again, COVID brought all the creativity in plenty of us, and one of the reasons I did that is because it's a kind of rebrand rebranding of 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 the entertainment world all over the world especially here in trinidad right you have to come fresh but i really hope the corporate world looking on yeah definitely and the state and coming forward to you know to contribute as well yeah well um i could i and i would um say no and i, I, I want to say publicly mm that the sports, the culture fund, well, the prime minister's um, fund, and mm. token, they, they lend, they seriously hand, lend a hand, mm. you know? Um, Trinidad All-Stars also, as much as we, don't really? forget, guys, don't forget, Saturday and Sunday, all right? As much as we hear, we're talking about Carol Addison, we had to do the show first, yeah. all right? Classical Jewels, Classical Jewels 13, all right? But Trinidad All-Stars also. His sponsors for that is? He, of, of which one? Classical is, Jewels. Classical um Massey Trinidad was Massey. Massey. Massey's here, one of our main main sponsors. There's a Juvis Warner and yes, very, 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 very. Warner. And they they've been very, 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 very generous. Well I know for a fact that Juvis Juvis is in oh, boy. like boil corn. Boy, he's, he's, he's all sars and rice, but a little more rice. <laughs> and so, little more Juvis. We met in another yeah, pan. Yeah, we yeah, met yeah. in a, another pan yeah, the other night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, end up talking about all stars, you know. I said, "Well, this man's going to talk about all stars. He knows I want to see you, man." Ah, boy, he's something else, boy. Yeah, I'm know that 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 and very, 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 very nice. Um, who's that? That means as you, you, you met. So mm. I just saying in terms of the assistance, I said that because all stars has always been in my corner. Mm. As much as I play, you know, sometimes you say in your own house. You don't get the respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in, in, in the house that I grew up performing in. Trinidad was has always been there for me. Very um, nice. Thankful. I just say it. I'm not yeah. saying it, just say yeah. it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and they always try to make sure that, that, um, I'm part of. One you know? final question. How things, Panama 2020, she coming up? How things going? Or has anything started as yet for, Panama 2023 and all stars? No. When we start beginning? We will sell, we will, sell, will, will, will commence, um, say just after the, the Christmas, just maybe a, a, a week, a week into the, into the new year. You know, it does is on me. I asked about four people there, so how I could forget my school partner? I went to school with him, right? It have a fifth person. I want to talk about. Leon Smooth Edwards, a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, you, you, you just saved the best for last. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because um, I, I, I will have Smooth as a um, other creative, dynamic, dynamic a ranger. That is how I just have Smooth, you know, and extremely creative. Smooth is... is I understand everybody else have <laughs> have their flavor and the taste mm. of um arrangers, mm. right? But smooth as panorama boy. I will tell you why for me. This is me personally. Mm. I, I and I mean, yes, we're talking about Trinidad All Stars, but I just generalize when I when I mm. talk in publicly, you know what I mean? The greats, the mm. you know, the Clive Bradley and mm. and others, you know. Boogsy and and because I will always say Boogsy's, Boogsy and Robert Greenwich has put, just put them in a zone. <laughs> <and> <laughs> hard and they, let's put them in a zone by the self and just admire, you know? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, let's put them on a platter and uh, let's leave them there as players, you know? Yeah. Um, and also as arrangers. But Smooth has proven, this is Dean Gulston talking here, to be one of the most exciting Panorama arrangers ever. ever. I agree to you on that. Because you see, 
smooth on dabble too much in a minor and you don't like the solemn we do carita banker we do no minor in carita banker it's pace is leg when you don't drink to you know you drink a little scotch drink some beer drink some rum no men beating um punching like his yeah but i ain't know what i guess that's vodka me i don't dabble in that yeah but um smooth as smooth as to take you with I, that alcohol and carry her and carry her somewhere else. and that is smooth you listen that way i tell you i like um unknown band unknown band from jump you listen to unknown band and people go and listen to it and they will you will understand what i'm what i mean you know what i mean unknown band taking a whole different dimension you know what is interesting was smooth in school if anybody when in school if anybody has said that smooth would be what smooth to know to be they say nah not he, he too quiet man he reclusive he too yeah, yeah, yeah he right. do like that kind of flashy you know yeah, yeah and he yeah. still remain the same same yeah because you walk in the pan here, you don't know you don't know who's smooth smooth i be sit down we just take our little time in the yard you know long before the, the COVID, let's say give or take before um the pandemic mm. and we sat down in the pan here we just play little cards and thing well you know mm. something you yeah know, and chill with me and thing we play a little roomy and they hear me just vibes in before they play like a slack in slack or this one coming yeah. thing, thing, thing. and the bands kind of just mm. men just coasting a little bit and thing and a man come and sit down right there and he said hey Gulston, who is smooth boy <laughs> sit down right here and, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be no gay smoother. I'm going to be no gay smoother card and the ball. Oh, God! Yeah. No longer want that. I mean, there. He's always like that. Smoother I am. Nah, you had to be joking. And that gentleman. And he, in the yard, off and on, kind of foreigner, if you want to call it, a local foreigner, yeah. if you want to call it. I said, that is Mr. Leon Swam. Man, I want to meet you so much. And that gentleman. A gentleman, a gentleman all the yeah, time. Yeah, because he always cool. Yeah. But then the music. It's a whole different thing. Yeah, different. Yeah, two yeah, different, different things. Yeah, yeah. 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 And smoodo drink, real little. Yeah, no. I, not, but that is what it is. That is, that is the power of music. Yeah, you understand. Mm -hmm. And the power of pan too. Yeah, you understand. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I seen this, and in terms of we could go on and on with smooth because I think smooth, not a thing. I know. I, I learned a lot from 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 Leon Smooth. You know, um, the way he will put his stuff together. You know. Where he will, will will carry carry his if you want to call his energy. But all stars when it comes to bases, when it comes to base, that one of our forties too. You understand that back back and front kind of vibe. But smooth man and his his lines in his front line is is something Amazing, else, man. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. It's really Redeem. nice. It's, and it's enjoyable to to perform too. I must thank you very much for being my guest this evening and it's a pleasure and, and, and anytime and i wish all stars classical jewels born to shine <laughs> all success right and i want to hear about more shoes after born to shine from dean god produced by dean goldson <laughs> thanks for I, I being here this mean, evening man and, and i should say season greetings to all and it's an honor uh, and a pleasure and please try and, and make it, all right? November 19th and 20th at Napa. 350 is the tickets, all right? And also December 1st, Born to Shine, Central Bank Auditorium. With, with who? Year. With who? With Carol Addison. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> songstress. And myself, Dean Gulson, and my, my boys. All right. All right. God bless. All the best. You have been viewing Bloodline Podcasts. Thanks for being here this evening. This is the final episode of season three of Bloodline Podcast. And um, again, thanks for viewing. Have a good evening. Ciao. Digitize and monetize with iEnt Live, the only platform that provides complete digital support for entertainers, promoters, businesses, and entrepreneurs. 
Leverage our one-stop digital ecosystem that will allow you to promote your music, sell albums, and host paid events. Host webinars and sell courses. Promote your concerts, sell tickets, and live stream events. And market your business or project to generate new customer leads, traffic, and more. This is all supported by our homegrown AI-driven digital marketing infrastructure that has successfully served hundreds of clients around the world. To learn more, send us a message or call 765-4641.